不要停，感受奔跑的声音，清醉笃定。天不要命。倾听等待的心跳声，勇敢者的真心情，是迷途中最亮的星，照亮了未来和曾经。支撑着每一段路前行，生命中所有拥抱和相遇，云淡风轻，是归途中最美的心情。你的眼睛点燃了现实和梦境，云淡风轻。One two one one two three four. One two one one two four. Report. Come in. Hey, when did you get back yesterday? At about two forty. And did you find the missing men? Long Fei has taken his men back. I heard a dog also went missing. Colonel, that's what I'm here to discuss. <laughs> Discuss what? So this is about the dog, then? <sighs> Colonel, look. The dog is named Rifle. He's one year old. His trainer is Guo Yudong from Company Three. Rifle has already acquired all the skills of an adult army dog. Then where's the dog now? He went missing during the last mission. We don't know where he is. I think he is quite special. Trust that instinct. If I'm not mistaken, this canine looks like it's part phantom dog. Phantom dog. That's right. Years ago on Mount Fury, I saw one with my own eyes. But how could Company Three acquire a phantom dog? Captain, if we can incorporate Company Three in our battalion, we'll be able to get a better idea. Hmm. You know what this is, boy? Huh? It's an arrow. <laughs> If it sticks you, it hurts a lot. It hurts. Yeah. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. <laughs> Boss, what are you gonna do with this? You don't get it. I'm gonna kill another dog right in front of him. That's the best and fastest way to break his will. You want to scare him by killing other dogs? I don't think it's worth it, brother. Let go! You're wasting everybody's time here. This is pointless. Get lost! You're out of line. If you had taken my advice during that ambush five years ago, we wouldn't be hiding in this damn place now, messing around with a stupid dog.
So you want to bring up the past, do you? You slipped away like a coward. It was me who took up the reins. Back then, I had to escape. So I could come back even stronger. Years ago, before Uncle died, he asked me to take care of things. He left me in charge of his legacy. You don't have a say in anything. Don't worry. I'll be out of here once business is done. What business? I'll tell you about it when it's a done deal. <laughs> I don't get it. Why do we have to work with a bunch of stupid hicks? Like the old saying goes, a strong dragon can't beat a local snake. Here in Qingjai, these guys will be of good use to us. Bye, Fung. So what are we gonna do next? Well, deal with a little problem. This is the problem you're going to take care of. <sighs> All right, listen up, everyone. The car broke down on the way last night. They'll be back soon. You all know Captain Long's plan. Just stick to it. And we'll be fine. Well, Benno, can we keep it from him? We have no choice. It'll take time for him to get over Rifle's death. But Yudan's not stupid. He'll find out the truth sooner or later. Right. Just cut the nonsense, huh? You've got so much to hurry, huh? Later when Yodong's back, don't say a single word about it. Or else I'll knock some sense into you. Sergeant Xie. Lying reason right. Are you nuts, huh? Shut your mouth. Well, my dad says lying brings bad luck. Here you go again. Why did your dad talk so much, huh? I like to shut him up too, you know? Easy. Liu Bao, sometimes people lie with good intentions. We're only lying because we don't want Yudong to feel sad. We're not trying to hurt him. Understand? Right, Liu Bao. Telling lies can be a good thing? Definitely. Hey, they're back. Oh boy, you're all here to welcome me. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Yodong, Dale, I heard you were kidnapped by that, some savages. That's right. And all female savages, as beautiful as film stars. They all wanted to marry us. It was really hard to reject any of them. They're so passionate and lovely, am I right, Dale? Right. But we're all <laughs> men of principle. We couldn't give in. These guys are really thick-skinned. Female savages, film stars. Not even a female bear would fall for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, stop, stop kidding. <laughs> All right, that's enough. We broke down late last night. We had to sleep in the car. Everybody back to work. Let them rest, okay? I'll settle with you later. Let me check on Rifle first. Then I'm going to tell you what happened between the movie stars and us, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Should Shero be staying in the doghouse? What's she doing here? <laughs> She's here to welcome you. No, kid off. She's your dog. Well, she wouldn't be this kind to me. That looks like a rifle's mailbox. It really is. Where's Rifle? Um, well, he was slightly injured and he got sent to the infirmary. Yeah. Slightly injured? Mm. And sent to the infirmary? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yo Dong, he'll be back in a few days. You're full of lies. Where's Liu Bao? Are they telling the truth?
Where on earth is Ripe? Shoot! with me. Rifle. It's gone. Where did he go? He's dead. Yodo. He fell off the cliff. It's 300 meters high. He couldn't have survived. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Huh? Is this a joke or what? You don't. We were all thinking about how to tell you the truth. We were afraid about how you would take it. Naya, keep lying. Yodong, that's the truth. Did you sell my dog while that was away? Or did any colonel like him and take him away? Hmm? Just tell me the truth. Can you stop imagining things? You're just like Shiro, you know? Rifle's gone. He's dead! Understand? Where's his body?! Couldn't find it. Then that only means he's still alive! What do you think, Benno? Suping? Xiao Chen? Hu Zi? Zhu Hong? What do you think? Isn't he still alive? Oh, my God. 
Larson! Larson! Larson, the dog's gone! Larson, hurry! They're not afraid of bullets. Not afraid? I'll kill them. Hey, who's in? That day, Rifle escaped. He saved a few dogs being held there. That's the first time he learned about his worth. But unexpectedly, he didn't come back to Company 3. <sighs> Idiots. You brainless, useless morons. You let a dog outsmart you. Um, boss, the latch came loose. Get in there. Me? Yeah, get in there. That's not Please right. don't. Guys, get hey, him in there. No, 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 no. Please don't. Come on, guys. Please don't. No, 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 no. Come on, come on. Please. Come on. Come on. Come on. Boss, what's this all about? You can't put all the blame on me. Like it? Comfortable in there? Um, not really. Lock! Hey, boss! You didn't lock it up last time! Enjoy your stay! Put you in a... I'll, I'll, I'll go over and look. You, you take care of yourself. Don't worry about it. What's going on here?
Cheryl. He's on sentry duty. You're keeping him company, huh? Don't wait. Rifle will be back. <laughs> <laughs> Nancha, have you seen Rifle? <laughs> How could I have seen him? I saw him. Hey! <laughs> hey! You don't! Know. Sergeant Guan! Oh my goodness! Is he getting mad or something? I think so. Get him! He's going crazy! Hurry and chase him! Go Yodong! Get him back! Keep a close eye! Just wait a bit. Dinner will be ready soon. Come on, Dale. Can you really cook? It's overcooked. You can still eat it. Don't be so picky. I'm warning you. Or I'll leave the cooking to you. Fine, fine. Go ahead, go ahead. Ever since Yodong had an emotional breakdown, we haven't had one proper meal. <sighs> Just quit complaining. You better savor every meal. We won't be here much longer. <sighs> That's a fair point. We made a terrible mistake in the last mission. I don't know how Colonel Ho is going to deal with us. What nonsense are you talking about? You want to eat? Get out if you don't. Hey, hey, it's done. Be careful. I'll wait for you at the crossing. Come and get it, guys. I know things have been hard, but just hang in there. Things will get better for sure. <laughs> That's comforting. But it won't help any. Here, Tiger. <sighs> Good boy. Yep. Good boy. Lock it. <sighs> Rifle's gone. Yodong keeps cleaning his cage every day, as if Rifle was still alive. I can't imagine how sad he must be right now. Doc, mm. let's help Yodong get through this. Yeah, we should help him.
Shiro, still waiting for a rifle? Huh? Listen here, girl. I've got you some very good dog food from Jiho. If you don't want to eat, I'll give them to others. <laughs> Dig in. You'll like it. Come on. Eat some. Are you on a hunger strike, huh? Shiro, eat. Joel, what the hell is wrong with her? <sighs> Last thing I wanted to see, canine distemper. What? It's an infectious disease. We have to put her in quarantine. Is it curable? Yeah, it is. It's no big deal if we have the right medicine. Oh, one minute, I'll go get him. Drugs to treat distemper and citrofaxone, an injection. I think you can get them in town. All right, you write the names down. I'll go right away. Okay. <clears throat> Bai Feng has been in his room all day, reading maps. What maps? Um, they're on his computer. I don't know exactly what they're for. Anything else? Yeah. Uh, Ah Feng and Shang Chuan went to West Street this morning. They went to get documents for me. Um, uh, place it. Hawk. After all these years, you're still just as suspicious. Haven't changed at all. What are these scribbles? I don't understand a thing. Uh, boss, they're not scribbles. I think they're Japanese characters. Don't need you to tell me. Go! Yes. Hawk. Turn it over. The other day, I accidentally found these diaries. They belong to one Suzuki Masao a soldier who fought in the Sino-Japanese War. What's written in the diary? What's this got to do with me? These diaries contain a record of something unknown to all, and that something promises a substantial fortune for us both. What? According to Masao, on July 17, 1944, a platoon of the 8th Root Army was escorting some gold received from the Democratic Party when they were cut off by Japanese troops. The battle continued for a day and night. Every single Chinese soldier died. When the battle was over, the Japanese didn't leave right away but instead did a thorough comb of the battlefield. They didn't find a single piece of gold. But two men discovered a suspicious hiding spot at the southeast corner of the foothills. Just as retreat! they were about to dig up the place, retreat! they got their orders to retreat. The two soldiers made an agreement to come back again for the gold whenever they got the chance. They never expected that a year later, Japan would be forced to surrender. They were sent back as prisoners of war. Then where's the gold? It's still in the ground. Where is it? Based on the diary, as well as the survey I've done, it should be buried at the Mount Fury Forestry Center.
Compared to you, we're definitely good. I... <laughs> What's wrong with you, woman? Don't you give us some peace and quiet? You... <laughs> Be a lady. <laughs> Who is it? Could you please show me some basic little respect? Tell me, did you see it or not? See what? You know I'm talking about the tattoo. You have a tattoo? Oh, what is it? Let me see. Did I... you see it or not? I wouldn't even if you asked me to. And King of Phoenix doesn't make you one. Don't be so full of yourself. Hey, get back here! <laughs> I want to ask you something. Go ahead. The other night, Go Yudong said you got a tattoo on you. He's full of crap. He's a jerk. Don't believe a word he says. Well, all right then. I respect him as a soldier. Otherwise, I'd have beaten him good. Hey, look. Why is the gate open? Phoenix, look. Jamie! Jamie! Where have you been all these months? Huh? I've been looking for you everywhere! Oh, don't cry, don't cry. <laughs> He's been missing for quite a while. He's grown up. Right. He's a handsome boy now. I missed you so much, Jamie. Hey! Jamie! How did you get hurt, my boy? Who did this to you? Listen, Phoenix, let's, let's take him to the hospital. Okay, hurry, uh. hurry, let's go, let's go. Rifle. Why are you so hot-tempered and reckless? You really fear nothing at all? You even dare to jump off the cliff? I know. You didn't want to be caught and be a captive. But you don't have any idea how it hurt me. You once saved me and saved Company 3. But I couldn't do anything for you. I failed you. Rifle. I know you don't like it here. It's too shabby and old. If Company 3 could make it through this, I'll redecorate this doghouse and set a statue for you. What do you say? Followed my advice, buddy. You're a newbie. You should listen to me. Don't be so reckless. Why are you so stubborn? Is it fun playing the hero? What's the point? Huh? Rifle? I've got something to tell you. <laughs> what is it? Abeno wants to see you. Mm -hmm. 
<sighs> you sure you saw rifle? Not eighty percent sure. Did you see him or not? I couldn't have mistaken him. What? I'm in Tingjai at the veterinary station. I came to buy meds, and I ran into him. I'm telling you, Lian Cheng, your dong is on the verge of a breakdown. You know. Yeah. You looking for me? Lian Cheng called. He said he saw a rifle. Lian Cheng, don't joke around with me, all right? Doctor, how's my dog doing? We're in the middle of an operation. Don't rush us. Wait outside. We're working on it. Be patient. Okay. Are you sick or something? I've never had health problems. I mean in the head. <laughs> you are a doctor and studied abroad. Why are you looking for a job here? You should be in the big cities, like Beijing, Shanghai, or Hong Kong. Well, in the big cities, you won't see forests like these. Plus, when I was abroad, I joined an NGO called Greenpeace. The county officials all encouraged me to work here. That's why. Hey, hold on. What organization was that? Oh, it's called Greenpeace. What do they do? Protect forests like us? <gasps> right, something like that. They fight to expose problems and find solutions to environmental issues through non-violent means. Meanwhile, they conduct research and various awareness campaigns to engage the government, corporations, and the public in an informed debate about environmental issues. My goal is actually the same as yours: protect the earth and keep its mountains and waters free from pollution. So, friend, let's work together for the earth. What do you say? <laughs> oh, and here's a donation I collected for the center. Use it for some new equipment. It's not much. Please accept it. Whoa! Not bad, man. I'm sorry. I've got something. I've got to get. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Let's work together for a better future. Yeah, for a better future. For a, for better, a better future. future. <laughs> <laughs> This guy. <laughs> Where's Rifle? What took you so long, man? Come on. Where is he? This way, this way. Lock the door. Don't bother. Nobody dares to steal it. Hey, hey, hey. Where are you going? Hey. Come back. Come here. Okay. He's right in there, in the middle of an operation. Yeah. Rifle. Rifle. Hey. Stay cool. He's injured. Rifle. Jamie, what is she doing here? Who is she? That witch at the forestry center.、Uh, Phoenix. You're Phoenix, correct? Yes, that's me. You can have him back as soon as he wakes up. Thank you, doctor. Thank you. Come visit us any time, okay? Sure. Jamie, who the hell did this to you? If only you could speak, 
Just tell me. I'll get you your revenge. <laughs> you, don't, you, don't. You, you heard that, Jamie? It's her dog. Yeah, it's her. Wipe your smug face away. <laughs> Jamie? That's definitely Rifle. How could she name him anything like that? You still don't get it? Rifle is hers. That's ridiculous. I mean, because he called him Jamie doesn't make him Jamie, all right? <laughs> Yodo, you gotta work something out. Don't just talk. Shiro's still sick. I have to go back. Then off you go. Why are you mad at me for? Knock it off, guys. You wanna get him back or not? I'm telling you. We're soldiers. Do the right thing. Don't give us a bad name. She's a woman after all. Come on, did you hear yourself? You think she's a woman? She's nothing like a woman, so crude. I bet she's a poacher, you know? That's groundless. She can't be a poacher. You're more like that. She called him Jamie. It's her dog. Not only that, even the whole mountain is hers. She's from the forestry center and a chief. We better think this through, okay? Oh. 